Okay, you've heard of Speakeasy Bars. They were the huge thing a few years ago. They're everywhere now. But what about a Speakeasy Art Studio? Yes, yeah, Simone Boyce is here now to show us a secret location and how we can all get inside. Yes, probably the only way you'd ever hear about this is with the hashtag Bodega245 on Instagram or by word of mouth. And this artist has been in this space for 20 years, but he found a way to connect his art to the street. Yeah. Top ramen, marshmallow fluff, Swiss passports. Can I have a passport? Bodega 245 is your average New York corner store, until it isn't. The Bodega is a storefront of my studio. We sell candy bars and coffee and Lucy cigarettes and Swiss passports. That's the shop owner, renowned sculptor Tom Sachs. Although I love my sculpture and I love the complex art of, of our time, it has an elitist side that's a little alienating. So I want to take some of the ideas that are important to me about um, analog, things that are made by hand instead of by computer, and make them accessible to everyone. The passports, a clever liquor license workaround, the bodega, art itself. You don't need a piece of paper on a wall explaining to you that this is art. Sachs, forever the irreverent champion of messy man-made stuff in a mass-produced age. And this is his laboratory. Simone, welcome to my materials library. Every kind of tape, including esotapica, industrial supplies, clamps and brackets, and lighting section, electronics, and the wonderful world of color. In 2012, the NASA fanboy built a full-scale mission to Mars entirely from household objects. Spacesuits, rovers, the whole deal. This is his latest invention, a bricolage toaster. So you put the bread in here, and then you lower it down. You can see it actually works. Look, toast. <laughs> In Tom's world, every handmade masterpiece is a reminder of our potential. The individual has great power, especially in this time of realization that we have through computers. That our individual fingerprint and our handwriting and our individual voice is the music of our time and that anyone can do it. Tom's latest exhibition is currently on view at the Noguchi Museum in Long Island City, and he's also opening this amazing boombox retrospective at the Brooklyn Museum next month. You can keep up with all of his projects at TomSachs.org and on Instagram at TomSachs. So cool. I know it's a little bit confusing. Uh -huh. So the bodega is a place where people can come. You can actually buy stuff, but then we got invited because, you know, we like to give you guys access sure. to Fox yeah. Live. He gave us a tour of his private studio, and this is where all, he builds all of these sculptures. In Soho. Yes. I can't think of a better life than going to your studio in Soho and creating all swacky and stuff. He made, a, he made a toaster. A he made a, a toaster. toaster out of nothing, right? Out of just random... Boy, that's, that's talent. It is. It's almost engineering in a way, and that's what he loves right. about it. He loves creating function and adding value to these really handmade objects. MacGyver-esque. Yes, exactly. Very good. Cool. <laughs> Thank Love you. It. Thanks, Simone.